The first day of the month effect in the S&P 500 refers to the observed tendency for stock returns to be higher on the first trading day of the month compared to other days. Now, this phenomenon has been seen in various financial markets, and of course, it's particularly interesting to traders. Now, the reason for this effect is varied. It comes from portfolio rebalancing, automatic investments, you know, many retirement accounts. Think of the 401k plans in the US. Uh, they're structured to purchase assets on the first day of the month, for instance. And this steady stream of buying can create upward pressure on stock prices. But just remember, the first day of the month effect, it starts sort of five days before the start of the month. So you tend to see this upside building five days before the start of the month and it runs sort of a few days after the end of the month. And you can see here over this 25 year period, it's seen an annualized return of 15.29%, 64% winning trades and then a median return of 0.74%. So pretty significant gains. Now, just remember the problem and the weakness with this is that seasonal patterns like this don't necessarily repeat themselves each and every time. So it's not a guaranteed month by month, despite the, the fact that it's had 192 gains and only 108 losses over the last 300 months. Um, and if you look here, technically, you can see the hammer reversal that's been driving the S&P 500. got this key resistance trend line, which can also you know, impact some of the sentiments and particular moves. So it's certainly worth being aware of these sort of major price action patterns that are going on in the S&P 500 as well. Remember, don't just trade it. Season Exit, you sign up here, sorry, for literally thousands of more seasonal insights that are just waiting to be revealed. Remember, don't just trade it. Season Exit.